talk about this with technology expert Dan Sodegren. Dan, morning to you. OK, morning. this is, in, in fact, good news, that this, this potential to hack any of these devices has been discovered, isn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, this is a, a big story, you know, with the cost of living crisis and the strikes going on, and by the way, everyone has the right to strikes, the fair play to them, but, you know, these are, this is a huge story because what's potentially happened here is that Apple, who are very secretive uh, about these things, and if Apple are saying something's happened, then it must have been something really big. But what they're also saying is that uh, they potentially can close the door by doing a security patch, as it's called. Um, you know, so this is really a public service announcement. I mean, it's hugely important. If you have an, an iPhone or an Apple product, you must update your software. You know, it's as simple as a couple of clicks. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know if Charlie has an iPhone, but you know, everyone can do it. You can literally, don't do it right now, but do it after the show. But Go into, your, go into your settings, it's a little clog icon, go into your settings, go into general, do your software update. Apple will have already asked you to do this. The problem is with human beings though, Naga, is that we might see these software updates and actually think, oh no, I won't do that. It's, you know, it turns my phone off for five minutes, heaven forfend, um, and so we might not do it. But honestly, it's really important that you do because if this uh, vulnerability that Apple are already telling people happened yesterday, is really happening to lots of us and it means that people could take over your phone the equivalent is that someone can get into your house and get into your bank account it is that important and i know that because security cyber security is a billion dollar industry or a trillion dollar industry we might kind of get a bit too excited about this but honestly if a company like apple the one of the biggest uh, manufacturers of, of telephones and all these other kind of bits of technology are telling us this you really must do it you know, Dan, I think you've alluded to it, that um, it's quite unusual, isn't it, for Apple to kind of say the phone is vulnerable or this, you know, certain models are vulnerable. It's extremely rare for them to do it. It's extremely rare for them to kind of roll this out instantly as well. And, um, you know, you've got to remember that if they've been told that something like this happens, obviously it's massively important to them, their share prices. It's all about, you know, confidence in the market. But they're telling us to do something. My other thing would be saying, you know, legally, where do you stand if you don't do this software update and something bad happens? Where do you stand? Well, most probably in a very, very grey area because you haven't done what the people have told you to do and Apple have told you to do. So, honestly, I cannot stress this enough. I'd certainly tell, you know, your older relatives or older generations, you know, we're all mobile first as a society now in England, um, but, you know, but tell other people, especially, I'll give you a great example, if you've lent your phone or given your phone to an older relative or, or to a younger relative and they might not do this automatically or might not click the buttons that, that you know, they see because they're a bit scared about it, just like my parents used to be until I taught them this stuff, they must do this software update because what can happen to their device is a lot more scary. It could literally cost them thousands upon thousands of pounds just for not doing something hey, for five Dan, minutes. Dan, will it not pop up and just say you need to have a, you need to update your phone, do, or do you have to actively go in? You, I mean, you mentioned settings. You actually have to go into the settings. It won't just no, pop no, no, up. Absolutely. No, Apple's already rolled out the message that should have gone to everyone. So, it, but it doesn't do it automatically. You still have to say yes. And I know that sometimes people look at it and go, "Oh no, I'll do it later." This is not a thing to do later. So, you know, literally stop eating your cornflakes, you know, put down your coffee okay. later on. But if, if, it's the most important have, thing you can do this morning. If you have kind of said, oh, I'll do it later, and then you think, and now they've watched breakfast this morning and seen you and thought, OK, I'll do it, but they can't find the button, they have to go into settings. Yeah, absolutely. So settings, general, software update. Um, it's, you know, it's on your, it's in your phone. Um, you know, if you need to with some visualizations, Google it as well, or go into a search engine and find how to do it. But please, please, please do it. It also includes um, operating systems like Monterey. So I think Charlie then said about uh, different Mac computers. That is also the case. This is one of these moments where you honestly, it's much better to be really safe about this. Just go and do it this morning, do it this afternoon, but definitely do it today because if they're warning us, and they warned us yesterday, um, the, you know, the, the, uh, the door's already open, so to speak, to these nefarious characters. And obviously, you might think, well, I'm not high risk, I'm not a politician, I'm not important. Actually, your information and your details are tremendously important to somebody else because you might have money that they want to get. So let, let's never think that the, uh, the, the nefarious characters out there um, aren't interested in you. They are, and, and it's a really, really important thing you do today. OK, Dan, always good to talk to you. I think the message is through. If you have one of these devices from Apple, oh, no, no, it's good. It's really good. Um, if you've got one of these devices, get it updated. Get the software updated if, in the settings. Settings, general, and then software updates. Dan, thank you. Dan Sodegren there.